Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a video on FTP storage and how you can store video clips or video JPEGs from your camera uh, to a FTP server or even an FTP uh, file on your PC. Okay. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. Um, you can also enable SSH. Um, and have SFTP, which is basically secure uh, file transfer protocol. But when the camera senses motion, uh, it sends that video clip or video file um, to that server or file location and stores it permanently um, on that space. Okay, it's a cost effective solution because you don't need an NVR, you don't even need a micro SD card. The camera is sending files. Um, to that server or folder. It's not a difficult process. We're going to cover it right now. All right, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you'll be notified when we upload future content. Also like the video and leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on subscriber questions and comments. We couldn't come up this, with this content without you guys. Uh, on the issue of comments, we did receive a, uh, an overwhelming amount of emails this week from subscribers, which we love. Um, we love helping people. That's the purpose of this channel. Um, but one person in particular got a little bit upset because we did not answer their email um, you know, for 24, 48 hours. I think it was two days after. I want to remind everybody, we do run a full-time company. Wentworth CCTV is a security uh, installation company and a technology company. We run that full-time. And this channel is something I do because of I, I enjoy it. Um, we like educating people on, on different things. Um, and it's kind of a passion of ours. With that said, there is a membership link on our YouTube page. If you click that, um, part of the membership uh, perks is a direct email uh, to me in which I will generally answer uh, in the first few hours. If we're super busy, it might take a little bit longer than that, but it will always be on the same day. Um, so I wanted to remind you of that. There are also other uh, benefits to being a member. You get early releases to videos and stuff like that. So I just wanted to remind you about that. But the video, without further ado, yes, FTP. This is actually a uh, true photo from a FTP server um, where you can see how it works. Okay, it's a still shot. It shows you what's going on in the movement. It looks like there might be a nice fissure right there. But the first thing we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is log into our IP camera. Okay, we've had previous videos on how to do that. Um, there's a link running, running across the screen right now that will teach you how to locate your IP camera and activate it on your network. Hopefully at this point, if you are watching a video on FTP, um, you're versed on that. So let's log into this camera. It's kind of haphazardly set up in our living room for this video. And we're going to go to settings. Okay. And then we are going to go to storage. Um, this camera happens to be a DAWA manufactured camera. Okay. It's called Capture. It's a ADI product. Hikvision is set up. Uh, the same. Okay. Under the storage section, um, there is a destination file. Okay. And here is where you will find um, NAS, which is a, you know, a network area uh, service that you can store uh, if you have a hard drive on your network. But FTP is what we're interested in here. Okay. Um, you can see there are two options. There is the secure FTP which would have SSH enabled uh, and the normal FTP. Mine happens to be a normal FTP server, so we're going to use that. Um, you'll input the port, uh, which is port 21, uh, the server address, okay, your username and password that you create when you create uh, the FTP server um, in the directory, okay. Once you hit that, you can save and you can test. And if you did it properly, you'll get a message that says the FTP server tested successfully. 
this video, there's a bunch of information out there on how to set up a FTP server. Uh, it depends on your operating system, your antivirus programs that you're running, um, your permissions on your folders, so on and so forth. So we're not going to get into all of that. When I make a video, I want to make sure that it's useful and it's content you can use. Um, so I've directed in, in the detail, the description of this video, um, there are links to a couple of good videos by uh, IT networking professionals on how to set up uh, the FTP files. One of the services we really like is camera FTP. Um, as I mentioned earlier, depending on the operating system, uh, your antivirus software, VPNs, that type of stuff, folder permissions, um, setting up the FTP server uh, or file may or may not work uh, perfectly on your computer. I know on my wife, she's running, she's running Windows 10. Um, it's a flash. I ha uploaded my computer to Windows 11 um, and it took a little bit of time to figure everything out. So if you are not a networking IT uh, professional, if you're a normal Joe like me, you may want to consider using this. Um, there's a free trial um, for, uh, I believe, a month in which you can have one camera for free to test it out. Um, and then if you add cameras after that, um, the pricing isn't that much. I think it's $1.99 a camera a month or something like that. But um, what you can do um, is configure cameras to work with this program. Uh, right here, you'll see a key. Once you sign up and get a uh, user ID, it will give you a key. And that key will be the information that you download uh, or input into your IP camera. Okay, it gives you the server name and address, which we just went over, um, the port, it gives you your username, password, and your folder. Okay, so you just easily input this information into your camera, uh, you hit save, and it's going to mesh with this FTP server, which is actually remote, right? Normal people don't have servers in their home, so if you enable FTP, all of those alerts uh, are going to save, those pictures or video are going to save to the hard drive. Uh, of your computer um, and that can fill up over time folks that this high def you know we have two uh, megapixel four megapixel uh, 4k which is eight megapixel cameras recording at high frame rates um, that fills up your hard drive so this is actually cloud-based um, when you use a solution like this or cam cloud um, that video is going to be stored to the cloud and you don't have to worry about it uh, filling up your computer um, but it's really simple once you add it you can go to my cameras um, and you can play uh, your alerts, okay? Um, again, this is just haphazardly set up in the living room. Um, there's not a lot of motion going on uh, today. Maybe yesterday I can show you what, yep. These are all motion alerts. That's how it comes up, okay? And obviously you can see it by day. All right, but that is the basic FTP process. Um, myself, again, I make the, these videos for you guys. I much prefer, prefer a, a micro SD card, um, 256 uh, megabits in, in the camera itself. A record in motion, that's going to give you two weeks to a month, depending on how much activity is at your camera. Um, I much prefer that um, than the FTP route. I realize some people like the FTP route um, because the pictures and video can be shared uh, freely throughout the network. Uh, also, it's cost effective, right? There's no cost with it. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, we'll see you in the field.